Hi, I'm Paul Barkish for Pro Football Weekly and brought to you by Verizon Fios, here to give you the winners and losers on the first day of the 2011 NFL College Draft. Just the first round picks we'll talk about here. Big winners, the Denver Broncos at number two with Von Miller, the Buffalo Bills, Marcel Darius at number three, the Cincinnati Bengals, A.J. Green at number four, Arizona Cardinals with Patrick Peterson at five. Each team got a player who was the best player available, maybe even a little better than the spot they got him in where they took him. Got Gotta love what the Detroit Lions did, getting Nick Fairley at number 13. And Dominic and Sue inside, Fairley outside, that could be scary. The Indianapolis Colts got the best offensive tackle in the draft, Anthony Costanzo, at number 22. But I think the biggest winner of all on day one has got to be the Jacksonville Jaguars. They gave up the 16th and the 49th pick in this draft to go up to number 10 and get a guy who they think is going to be their franchise quarterback and who we at Pro Football Weekly think was definitely the best quarterback available in this draft. That's Blaine Gabbert. Hats off to the Jaguars. Now the losers, the Cleveland Browns, just not good enough to give up the 6th and 70th pick in this draft to get just Phil Taylor, 29 and 124 this year. They do have one and four next year. They're going to be late picks in each of those rounds. And when do they start to get better? The Minnesota Vikings, Christian Ponder at number 12. Christian Ponder may turn out to be a great quarterback, but they probably could have gotten him at the bottom of the first round. You've got to find a way to make a deal or get some additional value out of that number 12 pick. The Redskins, we called the Jaguars a big winner. Redskins are a big loser. You get Ryan Kerrigan, who's a nice football player, and just the 49th pick in exchange for the franchise quarterback that you badly needed. I don't understand that pick at all. And finally, folks, there's the Carolina Panthers. They got Cam Newton. It is a huge, huge risk. I'm not going to call him a loser. Way too early for that. We know that Cam Newton has Hall of Fame ability on the Athletica side. We also know he's got huge questions on the downside. A tremendous, tremendous risk with the number one overall pick. Don't like it. We'll come back and look at it in two years. For Pro Football Weekly, I'm Hub Arkish. And to get breaking news, analysis, and the way we hear it, follow us right here at ProFootballWeekly.com, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and on Twitter as well.